some bitch is asking questions about that thing in Toro. So I think if we find Krista, we can solve Sherry's murder. What do we have here? And yeah. Wait, no talk. What's happening, YouTube? This is our review of Hightown, season one, episode three. Still going hard, doing good. Only complaint I got so far, honey, is that damn opening soundtrack. <laughs> Usually when you have a classic show, you have a classic soundtrack, and I haven't gotten into that soundtrack yet. It's a little goofy for the show. But we're here. Please be sure to subscribe. I have got some Can't Breathe t-shirts, and this is why he took a knee t-shirt in the Shop Life Game Store. Check that out. And without further ado, let's jump on into it. First scene, honey, you see our boy Junior with you what you call this guy? <laughs> the Marshall Mathers. Martha Mathers. Martha Mathers, whatever. Eminem. Basically. Yeah. This is more most likely the guy that was with Aceto in the opening scene when he shot Sherry. Mm -hmm. That's probably this guy. And as you can see, he's with Junior when they delivered the body and Junior threw it over the boat. And Junior said, Aren't you gonna come with me? And what did he say? <laughs> no, that's not his job, basically. <laughs> it was like, bro, that's not my job. Then we see Junior just here talking to our crazy girl, Jackie, and she's just basically spilling all the beans she know about Krista and dead Sherry to the person who dumped the body. What was you thinking when you saw that? I mean, dumb. I mean, they have to, they have to string us along and create some type of conflict. So, yeah, a little bit. Yeah, but it still <clears throat> just shows how she's uh, not really a, a true investigator. Well, I think she is a true investigator, but I think it's by def I think it's more so by force because she's got to figure out what's going on in this case to basically find a way to keep her job. Mm -hmm. This could probably elevate her above drunk driving and putting somebody in the hospital if she can solve this high town case. Is she doing it to keep her job, or is she doing it because she just needs something to to save, basically? She ain't like she uh, needs she's, to feel like a good she, person in some way or she, another. She ain't like Officer Sabaho. Mm -hmm. <laughs> she ain't like him. I think she's doing it possibly for that and because she feel like she needs something to help her save her job. Yeah. She yeah. I mean she said it's a sign. I feel like it was it was it was this is my purpose. Uh, for right. some reason yeah. I'm supposed to be doing this. Mm -hmm. Uh yeah. So she said all that. And then while they was talking, our man Junior get a call from Aceto. He didn't answer it. What what? Say it again. Aceto. Good job. <laughs> and when Aceto leaves, excuse my wife, she's she's pregnant. He didn't the, butcher the, this man's name. Every time he said it, he said it different some way or another. So mm -hmm. we, we'll see if he'll ever keep it up, though. Excuse her. The baby will be here in four weeks, so hormones are just raging oh, well, through her veins. No, but Junior calls his voicemail, and Aceto is hot. He told him, you better call me back. Very next scene, we see... Officer Save a Ho, and he's talking to his captain, and they gave out some daggone iPads in there. And we was like, okay, they, after they're giving out our Best Buy, whoever's giving out iPad, what in the world does this have to do? Follow this one, people, because it comes back in the end of this particular episode. Then we see Jackie, and she meets up with this lawyer. <laughs> Who had pants on with question marks like he was a guy or, trying to sell you grants. Or palm trees. Or palm something. trees or something. Yeah. And then he's looking at her like, okay, where's your outfit? what she say? Yeah. So where's your, where's your suit at? <laughs> Both of them look out of place. Right. And then he was like, I'm not the one that's going before the trial. But mm -hmm. either way, they lost. And now Jackie is looking at a whole lot of years. We see Jackie makes a phone call to Officer Saberho. And Officer Saberho is like, why you ain't tell me about this earlier? Mm -hmm. We knew these two was going to cross paths. We knew it. You've got these two very dynamic personalities, addictive personalities, that they're going to try to make work together, and I can't wait to see what happens. Then we see our boy Frank busting nut all in the oh panty drawers of Renee, his girlfriend. But what did he ask Renee to do before he got through with her? I don't, I don't even know. You just threw me. Go ahead. Tell us. He asked Renee to work her in with Ray, Officer Saberho. And not only did we learn that she's probably going to do it, but we also learned during this scene that she's a great actor, too. Oh, she played this up to the hilt. She did a, 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 a Hollywood job on him. And then we see Jackie talking to Officer Saberho, and Jackie's explaining to him. Everything she knows and how is he handling her information? 
No, he acting like he don't give a care, but when she <laughs> leave out the room, he jumping all over it. Yep. The minute she leave out the room, he's investigating everything she had to say, which takes him to this restaurant. What's that? Remy's restaurant? Ray's, I think, or Re Remy's. Remy's. Rem Remy's restaurant, where he goes in there, he has everybody in there to talk about Aceto. And they all say they don't know nothing. Uh -huh. And did you see how they tried to play it up? Everybody was fat that was in that restaurant. Mm -hmm. What was up with that? Then he goes around to the drive through and talks to the white guy. And the white guy says, what, Crystal? <laughs> uh, he come through all the time. Uh-huh. Ordering, ordering up everything with extra, tree, <laughs> extra, extra cheese. Extra cheese. And he said he never give it to him. <laughs> like a real... Guilty. Like a real punk. He felt guilty he don't never give that man his extra cheese. Then we see Junior, this was directly from the trailer, gets caught up with Aceto's henchman. Pull him in the car, and he's like, bruh, why you ain't calling Aceto back? He was like, man, I'm going to call him, I'm going to call him. And then they rolled the window up and start creeping away on him. And we also learn in this scene that Junior either is selling drugs or he's scratching his own itch. Which one did you think it was? I think he's selling drugs. Because mm -hmm. he, need, he need the money. Yeah. He's got that kid. He's trying to get out of his dad's house. Mm -hmm. And earlier in this episode, you seen him and the girlfriend semi making. Now he's like, honey, we can get up out of here. You know, so. Then from there, after he gets those drugs, they go storm the girl that Jackie met last week. Her home. The one that was wearing the earrings um, that was matching Krista's earrings. And this is when Jackie finds out that Junior is either doing drugs or selling it because they offered the girl, in exchange for Krista's suitcase that had her underwear in it, some drugs. Mm -hmm. Now, wh wh how did you think this was going to happen? I, I mean, one question was whether or not the girl was going to spill any information because mm -hmm. she, she kept acting like she didn't know the girl. Right, right. Um, and the only way they can get her to give up any information was to give her what she wanted, which was some drugs. Mm -hmm. But it seems like the information that they got wasn't, it wasn't worth anything. Yeah, do you, I mean... They had uh, uh, rifled through a suitcase. The only thing that was in there was some underwear. Right. <laughs> and they had rifled through and sold off any anything else that uh, was worth anything. But Jackie did find this letter in there and this letter was from the last reform a um aa class she went to and she found this and she started doing some digging so she went and sat in that class and that's where she found homegirl that whipped her ass last week mm -hmm. she done moved to that class mm -hmm. and she's one she was about to fight jack and jack is like no i'm here to learn about krista mm -hmm. and big girl got defensive she was like, what the hell are you doing here? You don't need to know. And then she explained to her what happened. Big girl helped her out a little bit. Uh -huh. And this is all because Jackie got that suitcase, dug in there and found that piece of paper that showed a list of people that was going to this specific AAU class. I mean, AA class, mm -hmm. right? Then, right from the trailer, as soon as Jacqueline left, this chick whips out a phone out of her bra. And what mm -hmm. did she say, honey? Like she's 68 years old, whipping out phones and snuff okay. and cigarettes out the bra. <laughs> I don't know who she was talking to, but mm -hmm. she called somebody and gave them the heads up that somebody is asking about them. Was it asking about them? Is that what she was asking? Asking about, um, the about girl Krista. That, the, no, yeah, Krista. Uh-huh. And mentioning about the dead body. Yeah. So mm -hmm. the question is, who did she call? Aceto? Frank or Marshall Mathers, as you call him, Aceto's friend. Uh -huh. That's the question they didn't answer in this in this particular show. Right. But when we find out who she connected with, man, that's going to be hell to pay because they probably use her against Jackie since Jackie done smashed up on her. Mm -hmm. Then we see this guy that the FBI staked out. They went to his house because he had a drug overdose, hopped in his car, and crashed. The trailer got me because I thought this was Junior, and it's not Junior. It's this dude, mm -hmm. unassuming man. They're talking to him. They say, you know a Cedo. He said, yeah, I know him. Then all of a sudden, boop. Pass out. Pass out as Officer Saberho about to get the information from him. Are we, are we going to see this dude again? I'm sure we are. They just like teasing us, basically. Mm -hmm. And then Jackie, from the information that she got, finds the name Anthony Do whatever it was, which is the name that the girl told her at the AA house. Del Vicario. Del Vicario. She persists to call Anthony 
while he's in front of his family, knowing that he's having jump off sex with Krista. I don't know if she did. She know what she know what relationship she had with him. That's what the girl told her at the, the AA house. Uh huh. It's possibly a jump off for him. Okay. She calls and he says, "I don't know her." Jackie immediately knows he's lying. Mm -hmm. So she's now thinking in her brain, I got to figure out how to get to him. Because he's in there with his family. He ain't about to have no conversation with you while he's with his family. Then we see Aceto <laughs> comes in there with his little young teeny bopper girlfriend. Looked like she got chicken pox. Mm -hmm. Talking to Renee and Renee shoes her away. Aceto passes over some money to Renee saying that Frank told me to give you this. What was the purpose in that money? What you think that money is for? Paying her off to do her job, which is to get close to officer, save, save them, save Sa them all. Save a hoe. Just go and call it what it officer, is. Save them all. Save a criminal hoe. That's his name. And do you think that she really has feelings for him or is this just a job for her? Because the manner in which she had sex with Frank was purely acting. Mm -hmm. And I'm wondering if she's about to fall for Officer Save or you know what. I guess we'll find out. What you think? I don't. I think she's playing him. Okay. Um, I don't think she has feelings for him. In the beginning, when they had them interacting, it made you think she was gonna um, ditch Frank and, and sell him under the you know throw him mm -hmm. under the bus basically mm -hmm. by working with this cop, and that would be her way of leaving. Frank for good and living a good life, basically. Mm -hmm. um, but I think she's definitely playing him. Uh, she wasn't planning on doing that with him until Frank gave her all that money, I guess. Um, that was the message that, that was given her. Frank gave her that message when they was messing around in the jail cell. So yeah. I don't know. And then this is a reminder. Go and do what you're I, I kind of think she's got feelings for him, but I guess we'll find out. Mm -hmm. Next scene, we see Jackie go back to her old love. This has got to be the woman that the therapist was referring to, to Jackie, saying that you have some love interest that you was very fond of. Mm -hmm. And the only reason she's here, we know why she's here. Yeah, she might have some feelings for her, but nothing for a long-term relationship. She's trying to use her. Just like she used the old lady in the end of last episode, she's back here to use this girl. And, of course, they wind up in bed. So basically, anytime Jackie has any type of interaction with somebody, there's a motive behind a it. A motive or a Jackie's need. Jackie's always using somebody for right. something. And she get and look at how she play her mess. She get, make sure she love them up good, cause she get them mm -hmm. panty draws good before she asks for whatever it is she needs. It looks like the only true relationships it seems like she have is the one with the Eddie Murphy. Eddie Murphy, yeah. and then maybe Junior, uh, maybe Junior. Yep, yep. Yes. Other than that. Uh, if if you someone she ha she can have a sexual interest real, she's gonna use her sexual skills to get what she wants from you. Then we see a seed a seed of sneak up in Junior's house. Junior say, "Mom, whatever," and then all of a sudden pops in a seed of. And Junior looked like he peed on himself. He did. <laughs> <laughs> like Ju about, he said, what you about to jump out the window? <laughs> and practically here. Yeah. And then a seed of scoops him up and says, "Frank want me to kill you," but. I'm not going to kill you. And Junior tried to give him some money. Mm. He says, Aceto says, I'm going to try to make you tough. Which to me says that maybe Aceto has a deeper relationship with Junior. Frank is supposed to be your crime boss and you sparing this guy that he wants you to kill. For what reason? Mm -hmm. And then Junior says, I'm going to make you tough. You need to go and beat up somebody. So here's the guy <laughs> at the restaurant. Aceto wants his ass beat because he ain't giving him that double cheese. Uh -huh. What does Junior do? Get out there, psych himself up, and beat up this kid. It looked like he enjoyed it. And then he gets in the truck with Aceto and says, you enjoyed that shit, didn't you? You enjoyed it. And then Aceto let him go, and then they do a particular fist pound, which lets me know there's a deeper connection between Aceto and Junior. Mm -hmm. Or else he would have just went on ahead and killed him. I guess we'll see if this is going to cost Aceto. Then we go back to Officer Saberhoe. He looking at Renee all on his computer. Then he texts her. She texts him back. He comes to her nightclub after she says, I'm getting off soon. Brings her a toy for the kid. And that secret iPad the FBI was granted, he gives it to her. What was you thinking when he got that? she got that iPad? I'll tell you what I was thinking. Mm, 
There's something that's going on with that iPad. Yeah, well, yeah. I, well I trust that iPad. Yeah. Like, it, for you already know he's a sex freak. Well, she don't know that, mm -hmm. but we do. But still, you know he's a cop. Mm -hmm. Why would you trust an iPad he's giving you that has a, a forward-facing camera on it? Right. You know, I oh, wouldn't trust it. Oh, yeah. you think he'll watch it like he, use it for sexual reasons? Sexual reasons and for, and for um, oh. cop reasons. Okay. Both. And then she gets in the car and they're talking and she's saying those cheesy stripper lines like, Why are you trying to resist? Why are you trying to make me force you to do something you already want to do? <laughs> Sound like a Jeffrey Epstein line. Then the next thing you know, they giggling, and all of a sudden, he's smashing, putting his head between her legs. That's how you know a man, ladies and gentlemen, let me tell you something. If you want to know if a man is in too deep or he really likes a woman, if he sticks his head between her legs before he tried to put his penis in, you got his ass, and you can take that to the bank. We ain't need the lesson. Hey, I'm, I'm giving <laughs> lessons here. Then, just like the old lady the next day, Jackie gets up with this girl and then she tells the girl, I need to borrow your car. <laughs> she looked like she was about to sneak off in the car if, if the girl hadn't woke, woke up. up. Yeah. Right. And and like a doofus, like a love struck pony or a love struck puppy, she lets Jackie take off in she the car. She let Jackie take off in the car and then call the police and say she drives without a license. Hey, she, she, she might do that. She sure she didn't have but, that information. But, but she didn't tell Jackie that she doesn't have a license. Yeah. And why did Jackie need transportation? Because she's going to find Anthony, whatever his name is, that's associated with Krista. And we find out Krista is still messing around with him as she raises her little head from giving Anthony head, but Krista looks like she is really, really sad or in a deep place. Do you think Anthony told her someone called looking for her? Either that or I don't know if she's in a prostitution ring for him because you know she can't go home. Right, right. And so she's out there on the streets, I guess, trying to figure out how to... It didn't seem like they were in a relationship. No, like, no, they're yeah. not. Mm -mm, mm -mm. So like she had, like she was forced to do she, what Like she's she a had slave. To do. She had to do what she right. had to do. Mm -hmm. it, she didn't look happy at all. No. So I don't know what her relationship is with him yet, but it ain't really a good one for her. Right, like she's being forced or yeah. something to that effect. Yeah. So. Or she's... That's... Those are her only options right. to and, deal with him to stay to survive. Yeah, we're going to keep an eye on that and end it with our girl riding on the scene trying to find them in her latest jump offs car. And this gave me a feel from Kill Bill, <laughs> how they showed her driving in, zoomed up on in on her uh -huh. up clothes. It had like a Kill Bill feel. To right, it. right. Yeah. So, ladies and She's gentlemen, on a mission. Yep, another really, really good episode of this show. Leave me all your comments on how do you feel, what's going to happen, is Jackie going to hook up with Krista, Krista going to help save Jackie, Officer Save a Ho, is he going to get in too deep, is Frank going to get out of jail, leave us all your comments, that's going to do it for this video, don't forget to like the video, comment, subscribe, follow me and the fellas Monday, Wednesday, and Friday night as we go live to Black Avengers of Current Culture. This week is a hot button subject, the riots, the protests, killing the unarmed black men. And if you want to show some support, go check out the Shop Life Gain store. You can find both of these wonderful t-shirts in the store you can buy today. And until that next sex is hell video, I'll see you.